Okay, so I just got up. My hair does whatever it wants. I'm not even going to brush it. I get a freaking rat's nest every single time that I sleep over at my friend's house. I promised my friend that I would do a video of a recording of this Tumblr post about the ocean sunfish, except for I'm going to do it uh, censored. I don't use profanity. I will put the names of the people who wrote these things in the description because I do like to credit people. And I might put a picture somewhere in this video of what an ocean sunfish looks like. They're some ugly fish. Some people think they're pretty, but those people are wrong. The original post, the main post, is by a person called Delta Sniper 1000. This is the beginning of the post. So someone in a group asked me to tell them why I hate the ocean sunfish so much, and apparently it was too mean and was deleted. To perpetuate this truth and stand up for ethical journalism, I'm posting it here. Disclaimer, I care about marine life more than I care about anything else, for real, except this big dumb idiot. And it's not like an ironic thing, I mean it is hilarious to me, and they are the biggest joke played on earth, but I seriously effing hate them. The mola mola fish or ocean sunfish. They are the world's largest bony fish, weighing up to 5,000 pounds, and since they have very little girth, that just makes them these absolutely giant effing dinner plates that God must have accidentally dropped while washing dishes one day, and shrugged his shoulders at because no one could have imagined this would happen, and with no purpose. Every pound of that is a wasted pound, and every foot of it, 10 feet by 14 feet, big fish, is wasted space. They are so completely useless that scientists even debate about how they move. They have little control other than some minor wiggling. Some say they just push water out of their mouths for direction, question mark. They could use their back fin, except guess what? It doesn't effing grow. It just continually folds in on itself, so the freaking cells are being made. This piece of floating garbage just doesn't put them where they need to effing go. So they don't have swim bladders. You know, the one thing that every fish has to make sure they don't just sink to the bottom of the ocean when they stop moving and can stay right side up. This creature, period, that can barely move to begin with, period can never stop its continuous tour of idiocy across the ocean or it'll effing sink. Except, except, when they get stuck on top of the water, which happens frequently, because without the whole swim bladder thing, if the ocean pushes over the thinnest but largest most toppleable fish on the planet, SOL, there is no creature on this earth that needs a swim bladder more than this spit in the face of nature. And yet, some scientists have speculated that when they do that, they're absorbing energy from the sun because no one effing knows how they managed to get any real energy to begin with. So they need the sun, I guess. But good news, when they end up stuck like that, it gives birds a chance to land on their gosh darn island of a body and eat the bugs and parasites out of its skin because it's basically a slowly migrating cesspool. Pros and cons. If they are so huge, they must at least be decent predators. No. No. The most dangerous thing about them is, as you may have guessed, their stupidity. They have caused the death of one person before because it jumped on a boat. On a human. In 2005, it decided to relive its mighty glory days and do it again. This time landing on a four-year-old boy. Luckily, Byron sustained no injuries. Way to go, fish. Great job. They mostly eat only jellyfish because of course they do. They can only eat something that has no brain and a possibility of drifting into their mouths, I guess. Everything they do eat has almost zero nutritional value, and because it's so stupidly effing big, it has to eat a ton of the almost no nutritional value stuff to stay alive. Dumb. See that ridiculous open mouth? It has a big stupid open mouth. This is actually why this is my favorite picture of one, and I have had it saved in my phone for three years. Oh no! What could have happened? How could this be? Do not let that expression fool you. They just don't have the gosh darn ability to close their mouths because their teeth are fused together. And you know what? It is good it floats around with such a clueless expression on its face because it is, in fact, clueless as all frick. They do sometimes get eaten, though, but hardly. No animal truly uses them as a food source, but instead, which has led us to said photo, will usually just maim the F out of them for kicks. Seals have been seen playing with their fins like frisbees. Probably the most useful thing to ever come from them. Wow, you raised some good points here. This fish truly is proof that God has abandoned us. Yes, thank you. But if they're so bad at literally everything, why haven't they gone extinct? Great question. Because this thing is so worthless, it doesn't realize it should not exist. It is so unaware of literally effing everything that it doesn't realize that it's doing maybe the worst effing job of being a fish, or debatably the worst job of being a cluster of cells than any other cluster of cells. So what does it do? It lays the most eggs out of everything. Besides some bugs, there are some ants and stuff that'll lay more. It will lay 300 million eggs at one time. 300 million. 
It survives because it would be statistically improbable, dare I say impossible, that there wouldn't be at least one of those 300 million that is each time they lay eggs left surviving at the end of the day. And this concludes why I hate the F out of this complete failure of evolution, the ocean sunfish. If I ever see one, I will throw rocks at it. That's the first post. Here's the response. Call your hope. Thanks. Live ocean sunfish update. Fish discovered to be more dumb than previously thought. So the top and bottom fins kind of wiggle all of the time, and they're not sure exactly why, but think it's stabilization but they can jump by turning on their side and using them as wing-type things. It is suspected they do this as a way of scratching their parasite-ridden bodies. So learning that, I was like, huh, okay, they have a skill. Then I discovered this. Since they are so terrible at swimming, the current will carry them into deep, cold water, then they die. So I have learned that they are so stupid, they just get slowly consumed by a freezing death. All the while, they have the full ability for that to not happen, because they're effing worthless floating garbage. The end. So, yeah, that was the um, ocean sunfish. You're welcome. The ocean failure. Now you know. In the comments, tell me your least favorite marine animal. This is like ocean, river, whatever. It could be like an otter if you hate otters, but then you'd be wrong.